Welcome to the White Riders Universal 47D-01U Defrost Control Overview for application to single-stage PSC fan-based heat pumps, the industry's first universal defrost control. Turn off the power by pulling the disconnect or turn off the equipment circuit breaker before servicing. Remove the cover and review the OEM wiring schematic to see what kind of wiring configuration you have. In the control compartment you have the contactor, compressor run capacitor, start relay, compressor start capacitor, and the original defrost control. What comes in the kit? Well, you get an equipment wiring harness. Notice that all the terminals are clearly marked and have insulated male spade connections. Two low voltage thermostat harnesses. One choice has stripped for the leads for wire nut connections. The second choice has insulated quarter inch tab terminals. Also are two temperature sensors. One outdoor sensor to measure the ambient air and a coil sensor to measure the outside coil and is used for the demand defrost option. And finally, the 47D-01U defrost control. You must determine the best orientation for the control. It is multi-positional, so any orientation is appropriate to meet the application. The control has an 8x8 matrix LED display used for configuration and diagnostics. The display can be rotated in 90 degree increments to accommodate any orientation. First, remove all the wires from the existing board and identify them using the labels included with the kit. Just a tech tip, it's a great idea to take a picture of the wiring before you remove the terminals just so you can have it for future reference in case you need it. Once all the terminals are identified and removed, remove the original OEM control. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two controls. You notice that the replacement board is a little wider than the original control. This is not an issue because the control is multi-positional. You can put it in a vertical or a horizontal position. When applied in a horizontal position, the mounting tab on the left sticks out from the control compartment. Now you could cut this tab off with a side cutter, but for this application, we are going to rotate it 90 degrees for a vertical installation. Notice the start relay below is very close to the defrost control. We are going to drop that down just a few inches. Relocate the start relay. Install the defrost control in the vertical position using the supplied quarter inch self-tapping mounting screws. Wire the equipment harness. Once you have all the terminals hooked up in their proper configuration, install the side connector onto the control. Just a tech tip. It's a good practice if you have exposed metal on the quarter inch spades, put a piece of electrical tape around them. Complete your wiring for the equipment. For the low voltage harnesses, you have two choices, strip leads or quarter inch spades. Choose the option best suited for the application. In this application, we're using the quarter inch spade harness. The other harness will be thrown out. Attach the thermostat wires to the appropriate connectors. Once complete, attach the connector to the control. There are two sensors included in the kit that must be installed, an outdoor air temperature and an outdoor coil temperature sensor. To install the coil sensor, locate the lowest point on the coil. Here you will see a close-up of where it is installed. Notice there is a clip attached to the sensor to make ease of installation. Attach the sensor now to the board. The outdoor air temperature sensor can be placed wherever suitable to measure the ambient air temperature. In this application, it is installed right outside the control box. Now attach this to the board. This completes the installation of the control. Clean up the wiring bundle using the enclosed wire ties and dress up the wires. When you turn on the power, you will see a smiley face that indicates status is OK. To change the orientation of the display, because we are in a vertical position, we're going to press the Option button until DO for Display Orientation is displayed. Then press the Select button and you will see the word High. The display segments will rotate in 90 degree increments with each press of the Select button. When customizing the menu selections, Press the Option button again to save that selection. Quickly configure for an application. Press the Option button until OE is displayed and select the appropriate OEM manufacturer by reference number. Refer to the instruction sheet for the OEM cross-reference. In this case, we will select the number 1 for a carrier heat pump. If you want to customize any of the pre-selected configurations, refer to the instruction sheet. All can be changed. Once configured, you can run the system through its paces by selecting the test mode. You simply are in the standby mode and press the option and select button simultaneously for one second. 
the system will initiate a call for defrost mode. Change the reversing valve direction and turn off the compressor. Turn off the outdoor fan and then terminate defrost mode. The last step is to install the diagnostics label on the cover for future reference if required.